Alright, so I don't know if you can hear this, but welcome aboard the Christian Ryan Hour. So first of uh, hopefully a few videos that I'm going to do uh, while on board the uh, boat for the summer co-op. Um, probably going to try to do a video every so often to uh, examine each of the compartments uh, on deck, on the tug, and then try to do a walk around on the barge and maybe do some filming of the um, cargo operations, which is kind of uh, boring, but still interesting, still valid. Anyway, we just left uh, Pascagoula, Mississippi, about actually exactly uh, 1800 this evening, uh, Eastern Standard Time, um, 1700 local time. <coughs> And it's, uh, let's see, 20.03 Eastern Standard Time at the moment, uh, heading southbound or southeast along the coast of Florida, west coast of Florida, down to uh, Fort Lauderdale. And uh, hopefully to discharge our cargo there. That'll be the last of this boat's contract with uh, Shell Oil. And then from there, uh, we'll head up to uh, I think uh, Louisiana, I think is the next port. In either case, it's about going to be about a three-day trip from where we are now to Fort Lauderdale. And then uh, sometime on Tuesday, we'll have the uh, barge unloaded. At least that's the uh, hope. Everything seems to be uh, slightly delayed because of the oil spill out on the Gulf. Which, by the way, can't see it, but somewhere out there is the oil spill. Can't see it. It's uh, a couple hundred miles away. Anyway, there's our wake, and somewhere over there is Pascagoula, Mississippi. Come back on board the tug, and there's uh, there she is. There's a bridge up there. There's one bridge. We're on the uh, main deck right now. There's the towing bits. Uh, although uh, they never get out of the knot. They, they said that the uh, first rule when they bought the boat was that never get out of the notch, notch in the tug. So they have an emergency uh, towing hawser right up along uh, the rail there, and then one on the barge that goes all the way to the bow. Uh, but I don't know if you can see it from here. The hawser is actually welded in place. It's held down with clips, uh, metal clips that are welded to the rail. So if they actually do have to take the uh, take the barge in tow on a hawser, they'd have to just put the line on, put the hawser under tension, and all those clips would rip out one by one. They're weak enough. Uh, either way, it sounds kind of weird to me. I think you should have the ability to get on the hawser pretty easily. But this this thing's built to take it, built to uh, basically run as a ship. It's not really a tug and barge. It's like it is in an integrated tug and barge, it's it's pretty much a ship. It's 560 feet long from the stern of the tug to the bow of the barge. The tug itself is 123 feet feet long, I think. Can't remember. Uh, either way, you can see the barge on the side here. We're loaded down with uh, 140,000 barrels worth of. Uh, number two, or sorry, ultra low sulfur diesel. That barge yesterday was considerably higher. In fact, that uh, red chalk where, where it, um, on the barge there was up about where the uh, Rheinauer R sign is on the side of the stack. So it's quite a bit higher. Uh, apparently the barge can be loaded down quite a bit more than it is now, but you won't see that for a while. So anyhow, like I said, we're on the main deck right now. Below us is the engine room. Ahead of us is the uh, crew quarters, uh, main head and showers on the left. And then in the right hand side is the uh, smoking area, which is inside, the indoor smoking area for when we're at the pier. And then just ahead of that is the uh, chief engineer's cabin straight across from the engine room. And then going up one deck, that's the 01 deck. Uh, inside the stack is um, 
the galley, uh, as well as uh, one of the deckhand's berths, um, stateroom, and also the stores room. Then up one level from that, that's the O2 deck. <coughs> There's uh, not much in there except for uh, all the cruise berths. Um, the, let's see, the uh, tankerman, the two tankermen, and, uh, and the barge captain live in there. I think there's actually four, four up there. And one deck up from that is the O3 deck, and that's a very small room. That's where uh, myself and Will Parker are staying. And then up from that, the O4 deck really is basically nothing. There's, uh, you can see the door where the O4 deck is. All right, I missed a deck there. Uh, you have the O, let's see, O1, O2. On the O2 deck, uh, actually, I, I got this wrong, is the, um, uh, that's the crew berths. And then one uh, deck up from that, the O3 deck, is the um, captain and ma uh, chief mate's quarters. And then one deck up from that, the O3 deck, is the uh, area where I'm staying. And the next one up from that is uh, O4, and that's just a, a void space with um, uh, space for some electronics, uh, passageway to the bridge, and and the uh, uh, flags. They have all the flags uh, and day shapes in there. And you can step out that after hatch on that little balcony and uh, run the flags up from there. <coughs> and then above that is the the bridge, uh, wheelhouse. Well, that's about it for the uh, for the stack. I'll have to correct myself on what decks are what later, or when I uh, go through um, each compartment in another video. There you can see the name of the barge. It's RTC 145. It's Reinhauer Towing Corporation or Reinhauer Towing Companies, uh, number 145. Anyway, I think I'm going to get a sunset shot here in a few minutes. Well, maybe 15 minutes. I don't know what time the sun sets. And I'll be out for the day. Be on watch from now until midnight. I started at 1800, uh, just as we were getting off the dock. And then uh, at midnight, get some dinner, go to bed, and wake up at 0600 for uh, Sea Watch underway. Great time, and hopefully it gets better. It's been pretty damn good so far.